Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. Quick look at Solana, seeing what's going on. Gonna double check a few things. We're still honoring our sending trend line. Price action is looking good. Didn't actually pull back as far as we had expected or hoped for, based on that fair value gap still being pretty sizable. Um, again, Bitcoin really didn't retrace down to 56K either. It kind of held that 0.382 FIB level and is so far looking pretty decent with a bull pennant pattern. So again, a lot of reasons why Solana could and should continue breaking out. It's looking like it wants to um, emerge. I mean, you see how many attempts to break through this level and we're pretty close to closing a blow of it for the first time almost ever <laughs> since we've been in this range. Uh, that was roughly about a, what, 10, day, 10 trading days ago. So we've been retesting this range a lot. More likely to break to the upside here at this point just seems sensible in the overall uh, sentiment here, especially with Bitcoin looking to, to be mostly bullish. Um, granted, it's not hasn't fully broken bullish, but it's it's really, really trying. And I do think we're gonna see that 59 to 60K range tested. If so, Solana should continue to uh, to break out. Uh, again, Solana is, is moderately independent of Bitcoin, but also codependent on it too. Most altcoins are like that right now, where you see that pullback with Bitcoin. But um, you know, it's just important to recognize that you know, Solana, while it's super strong, generally a good, a good coin to trade, um, it's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna pull back if Bitcoin does too. We just gotta be ready for that. Having said that, we take a look here, 125 to 126 is that range of liquidation. We got, uh, oof, probably a good 2 million, 3 million in that range. Uh, keep in mind, that's just a lower concentration that's based on late longs here. Uh, as of this most recent dip here at about 127. So, uh, those are just some high leverage longs at 127. And we kind of zoom in here or out and in, we can see. There's roughly about three billion in liquidation, about that 138 range. That's been present for a while. Majority of it has been swept, but there's still a decent amount left there. Okay, so we basically got the same amount to the bottom and to the top. So either way, we could very well see those liquidation levels swept. It just makes a little bit more sense that the price goes up than down from here, just based on the overall sentiment and how Bitcoin is behaving. But once more, different scenarios altogether, depending on the overall situation. So what we're seeing here so far is pretty positive. Uh, really quick, another positive thing, make sure you reference this too, BTCC folks, excellent exchange, link down below, check them out. Uh, this new or partnered exchange mainly because they offer no KYC or VPN requirements. So I highly recommend you checking them out, seeing if you like them. It's a good alternative if you're you know, looking for a secondary exchange like BitUnix, for example, I love them. Um, they're awesome for day trading or swing trading, but sometimes it's recommended to have two different portfolios for day trading or swing trading so you don't merge the two together. So that's exactly why I like to recommend a secondary exchange for that. Just so you can keep it separate, it's a lot easier. It's harder to save money if you have access to it all the time, right? So again, consider that. Uh, either way, let's take a look here at the daily and work our way down. See what Solana is telling us here. We have heavy liquidation to the upside. We've known this for a while. We're gonna go ahead and just you know, understand that that's still present 138 to 140. We can recognize also that our TSI is increasing, stochastic swinging up. Uh, MACD just converged, and of course, we're still under 50 in the RSI. So we're, we're like right on the edge of greatness here at this point. Okay, so Solana does look like it wants to continue higher, but at this point, um, you know, again, a slight pullback would make sense with, in line with Bitcoin retracing a little bit. But once more, Bitcoin's holding its, its level pretty well, and there's a good statistical probability we're going to see Solana break out here soon. Okay, so again, a lot of bullish qualities here. Having said that, there is still a fair value gap here at about the 130 to 133 range. So keep that in mind. Also recognize too, we can see here that um, we're mostly on the bullish side of things. I mean, Bitcoin also looks very similar in a lot of ways. Again, not trying to compare Solana with Bitcoin too much, but you do need to recognize that there is uh, a correlation. Same thing here, um, very similar scenario where we have RSI swinging up, money flow index looking good, stochastic swinging up as well, MACD high, TSI upwards. Um, it's, it's all looking very, very positive. We take a look at the moving averages here too, we can see the 20 and the, the 50 day estimate essentially converging here, holding strong at that level at about 130. So to me personally, if Solana does pull back, I feel I still feel like 130 is gonna be the new low based on the simple sense that we have a strong um, potential resistance there at 130. At least, sorry, the, the recent resistance, that range it was stuck within is now broken. If we come back down to retest it and fill this gap, we'll probably see a bounce off that level. It should be the new support. That's generally how that's supposed to work. So just keep in mind, I think 130 would be a solid consideration. I'm rounding down a little, more like 131, 132. I'm gonna set an alert in this range in case the price does pull back for Bitcoin and Solana retraces a little bit. That seems like a very sensible area in which you might wanna consider a long position. Do you wanna to short to that level? Definitely not. This is not really short worthy. We got some pretty nice, you know, this, this pattern's looking pretty strong here. 
and uh, it does look like it would probably be more likely to, to, to break to the upside here based on this pattern. These generally do break to the upside when you see that kind of uh, continuation. Having said that, let's take a look, look at the Ichimoku cloud and confirm. All green lights, good to go here. No reason to consider a short position. Everything's looking pretty strong. So I like what I see here from Solana. It's looking absolutely very, very good. And there's nothing here really telling us that we should experience the price action to pull back. Once again, Bitcoin retraces a little bit, which it is doing so far right now, then we will see that from Solana too. So just keep that in mind, okay? So all in all, that is roughly where we're at here with this coin. Definitely looking pretty good. I think uh, it's got my thumbs up for more likelihood to, con to increase from here than decrease. But me personally, again, not trying to buy the top. I generally like to wait for a pullback. If the price does retrace this 131, 132 area, that's where I'm going to have more interest in this coin. Okay. But again, I miss a lot of opportunities because I wait for opportunities that don't, that don't happen. But in turn, I generally um, do not get into trades that are you know, that are, are terrible, right? They're less likely to because of waiting for confirmation. So again, a lot of reasons why uh, it might be advantageous to consider being patient here, but also recognizing that Solana is very strong and it's more likely to go up than down. All right, that's kind of where we're at. I hope that makes sense. I described that correctly. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to reference BTCC, excellent exchange. Awesome rewards here for it. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Thank you.